In this two-part video, we will go over the function keys on your NEC SL2100 phone. Part one, at the top of your phone, you have an indicator light. The light will flash fast when you receive an incoming call. The light will flash slow when there's an unheard message in your personal voicemail. The LCD screen provides you with activity information, such as date, time, extension number, and soft key options. The programmable function keys are used for a variety of telephone features, such as line appearances, part keys, other extensions, or personal speed dials. This eight button Desilus phone has 32 buttons that can be programmed to your business needs. The scroll key is used to display each of the four pages. It includes eight buttons per page. When the feature on the LCD screen is in use, the light next to it will be lit. Next, you will find the exit key. This key exits any screen and returns the display to the date and time. Next, you will find the soft keys. The soft keys display the features that are accessible during the call handling mode. The soft keys will change according to what you were doing on the phone at that time. The help key is an explanation of programmable keys. It can be called up on the LCD screen by pressing the help key plus the programmable key. For example, let's find out what extension Amy is. First, we will find Amy's name. Then we will hit the help key. Then we will find the button next to Amy. And this shows that Amy is extension 301. Now let's go back to the main menu. Next, you will find the keypad. To the right of the keypad, you will find the flash key. The flash key is a Centrax line feature. Next, you will find the transfer key. The transfer key will allow you to transfer a call to their extension, voicemail box, or outside number. The mute key. This key mutes the headset or hands-free microphone. The LED lights when the microphone is muted. For example, if you were in a conference call and you were asked to mute your phone microphone, simply press this button to turn your mic off. If you are using the handset and you want to mute the call, just hit the mute button. To the right of the mute button, you will see the D and D key. This is short for do not disturb. You can press this key during a call to set up a do not disturb mode. Next, you will find the clear slash back button. It is used to cancel the current action or delete a character. Next, you will find the menu key. This key is used for programming. Thank you for watching Midwest Telecom's NEC SL2100 phone training. For more information, please visit our website at www.midwesttel.com or call us at 812-421-0111.